Hollow the Don, L O M Clothing.com. That's you, right? Now, if you like me, you've been watching the headlines. You see what's going on. We see Travis Hunter in Boulder, Colorado. We see Shiloh Sanders in Boulder, Colorado. We see Shakur Sanders in Boulder, Colorado, led by no other than primetime Deion Sanders, the greatest DB, I would say, of all time. Definitely the greatest corner of all time. But I didn't know that you were looking into your college eligibility as well. We see that Warren Sapp is joining the coaching staff, and it looks like you will be joining the team as a defensive back because I have never seen anybody backpedal as quickly as you since Deion Sanders was not just coaching when he was a player with the San Francisco 49ers. Let's talk about it. What's going on, everybody? This is Temperature Check. I am your host as always, man. Mr. Check the Temperature, how y'all doing? And I wouldn't be who I am if I ain't do what I do. So shout out to all my brand news and my day ones. Make sure that you like, comment, subscribe to the channel. And of course, man, make sure you copy that Temperature Check of Pearl. But I couldn't believe what I was seeing yesterday. Hollow the dawn. The audacity of you. The unmitigated gall of you. Do you think we are that naive? Do you think we are that dumb? Do you think that we can be manipulated that easily? Do you think we forgot what you just said a few years ago? I ain't forget. The bloggers ain't forget. ARP damn sure didn't forget. But it appears that you have forgot. So let me remind you. Back in 2019, you took to your Twitter and you took a very public stance to the fact that URL was paying you $26,000 to not battle on RBE. They were paying you $26,000 to not battle Murder Mook on RBE. Fast forward to 2023, you come out and refute that statement from 2019. So are you lying now or were you lying then is my question. Now, how all this came about is simply this. Shout out Math Hoffa, my expert opinion. We have been watching Math Hoffa and K-Shine interview over the course of the past three days. And Math Hoffa is stepping all over this interview. He didn't got about 15 uh, blogs out of this interview alone. But one of the Storylines coming out of that interview was the fact that URL allegedly paid K-Shine $15,000 not to battle on RBE. Let me say that again. URL allegedly paid K-Shine $15,000 to not battle on RBE. So when we hear this number thrown out by K-Shine and we hear the situation that unravel we're not surprised because we've heard it before and just like every other media we talked about it shout out piper boy so piper boy goes on twitter and he puts the pieces of the puzzle together well url paid cassidy to not do to not battle on rbe they paid cassidy for a battle we didn't see they paid hollow to don $26,000 $26,000 and not battle on RBE. They paid K-Shine $15,000 and not battle on RBE. But what we didn't anticipate is the loopy one himself. The loopy one himself. Refuting his own statement. Refuting his own words from just a few years ago. You try to come out now and say that that $26,000 was not for you not to battle on RBE. But that $26,000 was a deposit for you and Murder Mook. Now, two things can be the tr- truth. That $26,000 could have been for you to battle Murder Mook, and that $26,000 could have been for you not to battle on RBE. Come on. Uh, my dad always told me I was born at night, but it wasn't last night. Who you think you fooling? Who you think you fooling? It is disappointing to see someone of your stature, someone of your profile backpedal the way you do. This type of backpedaling should only be seen on the football field. It shouldn't be seen 
in the public eye when it comes to business. Because guess what? If I said the grass was green yesterday on the URL, being a man of integrity, when I go over to RBE today, I would say that grass is still green. No matter what light it puts URL in, no matter what light it puts RBE in, that is my truth. Do you think that we forgot we kept the files. Did you think that we did you think that we would forget? I hear all the time that you OGs are cut from this cloth. This cloth seems a bit tainted to me. It seems that it's due for an upgrade. Maybe this is 100% cotton. Maybe you need about 40, 50% polyester. Because this business, this this integrity, this um, mindset that you guys try to display, try to articulate, we don't believe it. Because when a rubber hit, hit meets the road, y'all are willing to go against your own word to make somebody else look good. URL doesn't look like the liar in this situation. You look like the liar in this situation. URL doesn't look like they lost integrity with this situation. You look like you lost integrity with this situation. And we've seen this before. They don't have to tell you word for word, line for line, this money is so that you don't go to RBE. But they can say, if you don't accept this money, it will limit the amount of opportunities you will have on the URL platform. If you take that battle, all your lucrative opportunities may seemingly disappear. Oh, they don't have to tell you to not battle on RBE, but they can also tell you the ramifications if you were to go over to RBE and battle. So again, I don't know if you think we was born at night, but I can assure you, for me personally, it wasn't last night. I remember what you said in 2019, so I'm appalled by what you said in 2023. Does your, does your honor and integrity go with whoever is signing your checks? Because that's what it looks like to me. That's what it looks like to me. ARP, the higher you get, the higher you... Be you continue to elevate RBE. The air is thin up there. Only the strong will survive. It just looks like some of us are cutting the fat, whether voluntarily or involuntarily. But I definitely, definitely believe what you believe and remember what you said in 2019, that that money was to not battle on RBE. Now, what you say in 2023, does it have bearings? Does it have credibility? I leave that up to y'all to decide. But for me, this level of inconsistency, this level of almost arrogance, because you gotta be an arrogant, you gotta be an arrogant in effort to to sit here and tell me something in 2019 and then spin a block on me just a, a few years later and try to refute your own statement. Especially when we got you hook, line, and sinker. Your words, your blogs. Your Twitter account. So you let me know. Are you lying then? Or are you lying now? So loyalty over money, does that really mean lying over money? Y'all let me know what y'all think about that in the comment section. Shout out to all the listeners. Shout out to all the subscribers. This is T Temperature Check. I am your host as always, man. Mr. Check the Temperature. Like, comment, subscribe to the channel. And you know the motto. I ain't just getting started. Been here.